What's up guys, it's Storm here, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Ghosts, and uh, the trick shotting in it, and what I kind of think about it after playing it for about a month. You guys don't really seem to mind my commentaries, but I'll still try and make sure that I don't make this more of a rant than a commentary, because I don't really know. But yeah, I really appreciate the support, um, I'm just going to say that before I start the video. Um, last video got some really good feedback, and if we can keep my videos at 50 likes or above, um, that's a lot more motivating than you guys know, and I'd really appreciate that. So, um, without without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the commentary now. Um, so, pretty much the main reason why I think Ghosts is not A, that great of a game, and B, going to last, um, at least for trickshotting, is because the main factor is... It's just repetitive. I mean, think about previous games. Like, MW3 at its time, even when it came out, it just felt different than any other game. Black Ops 2 when it came out, uh, you can argue that you hate it as much as you want because I know a lot of people didn't like it, but the game itself felt different. It was something different to play. Um, even if I wasn't the biggest fan of Black Ops 2, I have to admit, it was something completely different that we'd never seen before. Before those games, you had Black Ops 1. Completely new feel of a game. MW2. Like... All these games that have come out, even if they weren't your personal favorite, each game has felt new up until now. Ghost feels like a recycled MW3. There's no better way to put it. It And it doesn't necessarily mean that like Call of Duty is going downhill. I mean, it could just be that this is going to be a rough year because this is the year that they have to carry over to both consoles. That is entirely possible. Um, but M like I had such high hopes for Ghost, but it's the game... For trick shotting feels exactly like MW3. And even if some of the shots in this game, yet yeah, they're a lot different. Like some of the things you can do. Um, even those kind of shots are, are we're already seeing them used over and over in Team Taj. It's the same type of clips. And we're only a month into this game. I just I've never seen a game be so repetitive and boring after one month. Now I think one of the big reasons for this is the fact that there's no YY feature in the game. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, YY is the thing that allows you to change weapons as fast as you want. Um, it allows you to throw some cool things in your trick shots. But um, in Ghost, MW3, games like that, there's a slight delay after you do it. But I really think that kind of limits the game. But even with that, because um, I think a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's the reason why they feel exactly the same. It's the two games without YY. But even without that, the shots you see, the, the, it's the same equipment cancels, the same pistol switches, that the same can swaps, that kind of stuff... We saw the exact same thing in MW3, and I don't know. It's just really not that different for me. Now, the maps. Uh, the one thing I thought they were for sure going to improve on from MW3. Um, somehow they managed to have less color than MW3, which I don't even know how you do that. Like, you have to actually try not to put color into your game for there to be less color than MW3. But apparently they didn't learn from that. There is one colorful map in this entire freaking game, and it's like blue and stuff. I don't even remember what it's called because I never play it because it sucks. But, um, other than that, the colors are pretty dull. Um, even on, like, the the maps with greenery and stuff, uh, I don't, I don't know. It's just all, like, grayish tones and it gets really boring to watch in montages. But I could live with that, but the maps are getting already repetitive and although, yes, um, it is going to be saved a little bit by map packs in January, but the thing is, if all your friends don't have map packs, you can't play them online, so the only thing that's going to end up, like, I'm trying to be realistic here, the only thing that's going to be a real boost up for this game is private match, because I don't have high hopes online at all, but we'll see. Um, obviously, I could be wrong, but that's all I'm seeing it being a boost for at this point. And the big thing it boils down to is, you can make a Call of Duty game for trick shotting. you can make it as bad as you want, like... It could be absolutely horrendous for trickshotting. I mean, take World at War, for example. That game, you're just flat out not meant to trickshot on it. Like, <laughs> I mean, you're not really meant to on any game, but you guys know what I mean. But you have to have something different. That's what it boils down to. And Infinity Ward's gone and brought out a copy of MW3 two years later. And there's a reason MW3 didn't last that long. Because it wasn't that great. There were better games than it. So I'm predicting we're going to see a lot of multi cloud in the future. Um, not just on my channel, but on many clans. I can't see, I just can't see ghosts besides the map hacks lasting for uh, any longer than maybe the end of January. I just don't see it happening. Um, people are already getting bored with it, and I don't blame them. Uh, 
That being said, I do have a decent amount of ghost shots hit, and you will see those in my montage cyclone that is coming out. Uh, the trailer should be out really soon, but I'm not sure when the actual montage is coming out. Probably between Christmas and New Year, hopefully, and so I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, let me know your thoughts on ghosts, because honestly, um, as I said, not my favorite, but I know people have a lot of mixed opinions, so go ahead, throw in the comments what you think. And again, if we can get 50 likes on this, I'll be pumped. If I can start hitting that regularly on videos, um, I'd really appreciate that kind of support. That would totally pump me up. And you guys don't think it makes much difference, but trust me, with motivation to make videos, it helps a ton. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I really appreciate you guys watching this. Thanks for all the support, and I'll talk to you guys later.